Hello everyone. Today I brought somebody special with me. This is a bear. Now why would I be showing you a bear? That's right. Today we're going to read a story about a bear. The bear's name is Corduroy. This is the book. As you can tell it's called Corduroy. And this is Corduroy. The story is by Dan Freeman. Corduroy. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've already spent too much. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of the shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I lost the button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Raise your hand if you have been on an escalator before. Wow, that's a lot of you. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Now is an escalator really a mountain? That's right, it's not. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas, and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around, admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. At once, he saw something small and round. Oh, is it his button? Let's find out. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up. But, like all the other buttons on the mattresses, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop! Off came the button, and off the mattress corduroy toppled, bang, into a tall lamp, floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came running down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed, somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. 
Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the dolls and animals. Corduroy was just waking up when he first when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking right at him with a wide warm smile, was the same little girl he seen the other day. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? asked the sales lady. Oh no, thank you, said Lisa, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up from four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight up to her room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like that enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I've always wanted to live in a home. Lisa sat down with corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable once your strap is fastened again. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave Corduroy a great big hug. The end. That was the story of Corduroy. And later, we're going to do a worksheet with beginning, middle, and end, where you'll get to draw me some pictures. Have a great day.